Ouais. J'espère qu'il y a des gens. Il y a des gens Et Nous, on voit rien. Nous avons des questions comme ça dans un chat. Ah, et euh... juste, comment il s'appelle Arnaud. Arnaud Ouais, c'est moi. Il euh, y a un endroit où on pourra voir le chat, le, le, le live après, où ce sera enregistré D'accord, parfait. Ça, ça, ça part sur notre YouTube, c'est ça Oui, parfois les lives, je ne sais pas si c'est... Si ça reste bon. après le live. Okay. Je crois qu'on... Ah, yes, ok. <rire> All right, so we jump straight in, we're live. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, exciting. Hi hey, everyone, uh, how are you today? I uh, hope you're having a great start of the week. I have a very special guest with me today, Coco Van, right? And we're going to talk, to inaugurate the launch of a very special uh, experience, the first one in the metaverse, or in the world even. Mm -hmm. I just can't wait to talk about it, so. Let's get started. Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, sure. Thank you, Seb, for this nice introduction. And uh, so I am Coco Van. I'm an artist and the founder of an art project called The World Letter. And today we're launching The World Letter in the Metaverse. Uh, the first time this project goes to the Metaverse because The World Letter um, originally happens in the streets, in the like physical world. So this is the expansion of it in the digital world. So. Um, maybe, maybe to, to walk a little bit back, the project, you've been traveling the world for like three years, four years now. You went to 140 countries. So the, the project started five years ago. Okay. And uh, uh, people from 140 countries participated to the project. I didn't travel to all the okay. 140 countries. But yeah. What was the project at the beginning and yeah. how did you grow so big? Yeah. to reach 140 people from those different yeah. countries. So the, the concept of the, the World Letter is that it is a participatory art project, it means everyone can participate to the art piece. And the idea is the world, as in humanity, comes together to write this collective love letter to the world together. So the way that I do it is I set up a desk in the street in any city that I visit mm -hmm. and uh, invite people to come at the desk and write a love letter to the world on this long scroll of paper that gets longer and longer as more people write on it. So this started five years ago, it started in Berlin and I, I set up the desk in many other cities after that and thousands and thousands and thousands of people have now written their love letter to the world on this big scroll. And the scroll itself, like I was saying, it grows longer as more people write on it. <laughs> so five years later and 25,000 people later, the scroll is almost 600 meters long now. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It's a giant roll. How big is it? Like that? Right. Like that, but 600 right. meters long right. of more than letters. It's like drawings, right. etc. So it's a very beautiful. But it's very difficult to carry now, yeah. one place to another, right? Yeah, yeah. the letter now has, uh, it's, it's not even on the scale of a person, it's on the scale of the world, literally, because it's, it's almost one kilometer long, if you think about it. So, um, yeah, I don't carry the, the entire scroll with me when I travel anymore, because it's reached such a, it's, it's too big, it's too heavy, it's too precious, too fragile. So most of it is archived. And, um, and I carry a little piece of it that continues on and on. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's kind of interesting to um, use the digital format for the project because even I have never seen the world that are completely walled out because I, I don't have 600 meters of space where I can roll out the world letter. So I, I don't even understand, like, I know it's this big because I've seen it grown. I've seen people write on it, but I, I don't know what it looks like, 600 meters of love letters, you know? And did someone ever saw that? Well, no, because the only uh, reference that I have is like <laughs> when I look at the Eiffel Tower, like the Empire State Building, I know it's like 500 meters high. So when I look at it, I'm like, the world letter is like higher than this. I love it. Higher <laughs> than the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, twice. Higher than, twice higher, mm. yes. And we're going to keep making it grow yeah. with as it, uh, the project is making, becoming more and more known and we, yeah. we hope to contribute to that Thank as uh, it's coming for the first time yeah. in the metaverse, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, like two years ago when there was a big momentum about the metaverse, I was looking at the news and I thought, oh, it would be interesting to, because the point with the World Letter is to have people from all around the world participate to it and eventually at least one person from every country. That's why I kind of keep track of which countries are represented on the World Letter. <laughs> and so I bring it to cities, I bring it to villages, I bring it to, I'm trying to bring it to every continent. And when I heard about the metaverse, I was like, it would be interesting to bring the world letter to the metaverse. Um, I don't know when that would happen, but I just kept in the back of my mind. So when I ran into Sebastian <laughs> at a conference, I was like, oh, this is the right moment to just go ahead and pitch this idea. And um, so I, I walked to Sebastian. I was like, I'm doing this art project. I want to bring it to the metaverse. That was uh, four, four or five months ago, just yeah. uh, October 2022 in Paris yeah. uh, at Station F, which mm -hmm. is like this uh, very inspiring place for like startup and art. I, I met you during this conference around, I was I think it was called Power, mm -hmm. uh, and around like thinking uh, uh, all form of humanity and interaction. Uh, yeah. And you told me about the project and I say, wow, that's, that's quite unique. And that's the kind of thing that we would want people as well to see from anywhere in the world. And ultimately uh, have the ability to learn about, to read, to be inspired, to feel positive about all those uh, words and letters and drawing that are part of it. And one day eventually archive it, make it mm -hmm. accessible and uh, contribute to it or mm -hmm. own a piece of it. Yeah. Because uh, it's really a collaborative work and this yeah. is very aligned also with the spirit of web free mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. full decentralization and full ownership by mm -hmm. the community. Yeah. And well, this week, I think uh, we're going to jump in how uh, from the ID, from the moment we met, it came to yeah. life. Even yeah. I don't know, so it's a big reveal <laughs> during this. Yeah. Uh, but I'm glad to see that it's launching this week, especially. Yeah. Like I think that's a strong connection with, with well, the 14th of February and beyond, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. We have one question actually. Are the letters in the game uh, the copies of what was actually written by the public? Yeah. Did yeah. Your big questions. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> someone just asked if the letters in the game are copies or they're the, the, the letters extracted from the world letter. So yes, they are. I'm actually archiving digitally the entire scroll. So mm -hmm. I'm taking pictures of every portion of the scroll. So there is like a digital archive of the world letter in case something happens to the physical world letter. So when we had this idea to implement some love letters in the game, I just needed to go to the archive and extract some letters that I thought were interesting or and so we, we can put it in the game. We're going to see and explore yeah. a little bit. This is a Do reveal. We... Okay, so these letters actually are associated with an NPC that is the person who wrote them. So this guy exists in real life. Marvin, he's one of the first people who signed the world letter back in 2017 in New York in Whole Foods. <laughs> he was a cash cashier at Whole Foods. And um, anyways, I won't tell the story in detail because it's long, but he's from Bolivia and that's his letter. So there is a word in Quechua here and you have his letter and that's literally, he, he looks like this, you have no idea. This is exactly how he looks like. I love that. Right. And he's not the only one. No. Like 30 people mm -hmm. that you met in real life yeah. <laughs> are actually present in this experience, reunited. Yeah. Mm. And uh, you get to hear about their story and what they wish to the world. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. This person also I met uh, in France. She's Chinese. Her name is Di. Super nice woman. That's her letter. Um, here you have Joanna, this one, I let you find, like, uh, check it out for yourself. But when you mm. talk to her, there is a little surprise. No spoiler. You no have spoiler. to go play the experience. Exactly. It's accessible in Sandbox right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no spoiler. But there is a little surprise with the, that NPC in the, in the station. Wow, look at this one. Wait, can we stop a little bit? This one I have Simple. it tattooed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. 
I really like this one. One of the first letters on the World Letter 2. So every letter on the billboards, it's a letter from the World Letter um, from 2017 when it started to like recent. And all these photos also are from the World Letter in, I don't know if you say in real life. How do you say when it's like? The physical in world. In the physical world. Because I know I, I saw an interview of you and you said, we don't say real life because this is also This is life. part of real yeah, life totally. as well. People connect online yeah. in virtual worlds and share emotions, share message of love yeah. now. So True. So yeah, photos from the world that are in the physical world. And here we can see some picture of, uh, of it unrolled as well. That's you. Wait, Wh this where? was in Colombia. Wow. It was in Bogota. Um, with a perito, a little dog. <laughs> I just thought the weather was comfortable. He was a guardian of it. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is Paris. I had to put a, our hometown. This is Paris. This is the uh, Nepal, the Himalayas. This was very far away in a very remote region of Nepal. These are little lamas signing oh. the world letter in a monastery. So you've been able to, uh, w when you went, uh, was there like a quest for you to gather all the religions, uh, really different ethnicities as well to contribute? Like what's the message behind? Like we're all mm -hmm. part of one world. Uh, yeah, the idea is that humanity and literally every religion, every social backgrounds, anyone um, is contributing to this collective love letter from the world to the world. Mm -hmm. um, so the message behind it is to unite humanity in this one statement, collective statement of peace, a positive statement. I feel like there are two, there is an individual part of it where you write your love letter to the world, which, which is more like an individual action and it makes you reflect on your relationship towards the world and maybe hopefully writing your love letter to the world will like have a little bit of an impact on you and your your life and the way you see the world but then because this letter is this one one piece of paper that unites us all there is also like a second um, impact of it that is more like collective creating a symbol I love it it's really about the act of giving in a way uh, giving spending your time drawing sharing a message and we try to share that philosophy as well. Like the more you give, the more you receive as well. Mm -hmm. So it's part of like this growing letter. I, I hope it will keep on going for five years more <laughs> right. and more. Like it's a world record, right? Yeah. Right already. I think so. Yeah. It's Is it just in the Guinness book? Or? No, because to, uh, to 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 register in the Guinness book, you have to do a lot of paperwork to prove and stuff. So I'll do it later. later. On. <laughs> But I feel like these people are talking to me and I feel bad letting them down. We, we can wave, we can say hello everyone. Yeah. Maybe they found Hi. us. <laughs> yeah, they found us. And, uh, I'm not right. ignoring you guys. <laughs> we're, we're just <laughs> live, this is live. Like, uh, and, and so, uh, Lululand, do you want to tell us like, yeah. how you met them, how you decided to work with them on yeah. this experience? So, I mean, it's, it's all thanks to you, Seb. Literally, because <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I met Seb and he was like, sure, let's do it, which I really appreciate because I love the spirit, like spontaneous. And so then I came to the Sandbox office here and I met with the Sandbox team and they suggested, they said, oh, there is this experience in, in the Sandbox called A Love is Forever. There was already in the theme of love. I guess maybe they launched for Valentine's Day in a previous year or something. And um, they said, why don't we just try to implement the world letter in this already mm -hmm. existing experience? Mm -hmm. So that's how I got in touch with the studio Lululand. And I think we just met up. Oh, we crashed. The live. Technical. We'll launch it back. <laughs> in the meantime, I have two questions. One is, do you have any favorite letter? Like, mm -hmm. the, the ah. And the second one, I might as well ask them now, yeah. is um, how can the Sandbox community can contribute to this letter? Okay. So if I have a favorite letter, it's a question that people ask me a lot. And I mean, there are a lot of love letters now that have been written, uh, more than 20,000. 
So I think that my favorite letters are just like more like personal, like my family members or people that I had an emotional connection with when they wrote, um, like the NPCs in, in the game actually. Um, these people of the 25,000 people, maybe I had more of like a, a connection or just spent more time or some of them really contributed to helping me. Um, so it's, it's more like an emotional attachment to their letters. So you remember them and today, even yeah. five years ago, they have their legacy yeah. forever no, so in the excited. metaverse. They could, could you, you kept contact with each one right. of them by email, so you right, could... Right. Uh, Some of them I already amazing. told them, I was like, you have an NPC in the metaverse. They couldn't believe it. It's like <laughs> Quite an experience, <laughs> indeed. Yeah. So, well, little pause here, like when you meet Coco Van, you might end up in a video game yeah. <laughs> when you meet with us. So exactly. beware. <laughs> beware. And um, uh, the second question yes, was how uh, can how the sandbox can community yeah. can as well contribute? I love that. That's a great question. Yeah, great question. I was going to ask it. So <laughs> I think, in, I mean, first of all, when you said the Web3 and the spirit of Web3 is something that also occurred to me mm -hmm. when I became familiar with Web3, crypto, NFTs. I will get moving in the meantime. Okay. Oh, moi, je peux peut-être y finir. Comme tu veux. Vas-y, parce que je suis plus Let's go. Um, ah ouais, parce qu'il faut. We need to. We need to show a little station. bit. Ouais, of course. So um, that's something that I, I already thought about. I was like, oh, the the world that is decentralized in a way, and it's completely. It doesn't belong to anybody, but it belongs to everyone. And um, I even thought that you know they one day could be like a gigantic NFT collection and everyone could own a part of the world that are so I think the spirit behind the like web3 is the same kind of like desire of like freedom and like uh, how do you say when it belongs to everybody like public, demo democratic good. kind of uh, yeah also it's democratic it's a democratic. public good Yes. So that's one thing which I think is cohesive with the, mm -hmm. the philosophy of the world letter, but also like uh, in a more obvious way, the, the metaverse brings people from all around the world. And it's wh whereas in real life, it is difficult to bring people together in like, a, but here you have this infinite space and, and time to bring people from the world. And also what I love about video games and, and the metaverse is that it's limitless. Mm -hmm. Like you have a crazy idea, you can make it happen. You can implement it. Yeah. It goes beyond your imagination and yeah. technology allows to do like yeah. pretty crazy things. I wish we, we even do some sort of contest. So any artist, any creator in Sandbox could submit uh, one letter yeah. to the Lululand team and yourself. And maybe we'll, we'll add it. Yeah. You know, you know if, let, I think uh, uh, like in Paris on some bridge, you know, you can put Wait. a lock mm -mm. or it's a collaborative uh, art and living piece of art. So actually, uh, the Lululand guys were were suggesting we do that. Like we we ask the community to write a love letter to the world, submit it. Oh, so you have to handwrite it though. Yeah, ah. there is an analog part of this process. Okay. <laughs> you have to handwrite the letter. Let's see. Let's see. Um, but we'll we'll maybe like communicate like, better how to do it on Twitter with a link to s upload your letter and then the letter can be in will the be online. experience. All right, so there will be more information about it, but it seems there is a confirmation of it's going to happen. It's official. So that's very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So this, this castle is amazing. The Lululand guys are so creative and Oh, yeah, so much imagination. If you haven't played this experience during uh, season three of Sandbox, you definitely need to jump here again. Like there's a walk in the sky, mm. beautiful views, gardens, etc. So yeah, about Lululand, this was a very collaborative um, process and they gave me a lot of ideas, like prompts, and then I just needed to just work my imagination because there is an NFT collection also mm -hmm. uh, launching as the, at the same time as the experience of items and wearables that you can buy that are all related to the world letter or to the world or to the theme of loving the world. So that's the first step like how people can also 
uh, get a bit of ownership and yeah. be part of that community. Owning like wearables equipment, right? Yeah. Aha. Yeah, you can wear, you can buy the exact same outfit that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Whoa, that's a unique one. Yeah. That you show like with a big hurt here. This is the, the signature nice. outfit from the World Letter. Um, and yeah, and every NFT, the sales from the NFTs are going to fund the actual project, the World Letter. Because there so is like some logistic fundraiser. involved. Yeah, for traveling, lots. for carrying it, for scanning and archiving yeah. it, of course. It's a never, like the, the task list for logistics of the World Letter is just as long as the World Letter. It's like a never ending. Anyway, so this is the very beautiful Whoa. poetic part. Look at that. That, that you cannot do in the real world, no. obviously. You cannot walk on the world no. later. But here it can take you to the sky. And it's a other. nice command life. Yes, well, well. And you see over the world people from all ages as well. I can yeah. see kids' drawings, yeah. etc. So and this uh, letter from Morocco, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. US, okay. Sweden, well, maybe China. A, I don't know if we get uh, here. Yeah. Can you get a bit of a zoom in? And so people will be able to read each one of the letter directly. We should do a quiz, like you yeah. have to prove that you've read and <laughs> find a specific yeah. letter as well. This one was written by my roommate in Uganda. She was Swedish, so she... See, like, it's actually Kampala, Uganda. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see the, the, the resolution and the level of detail. You, right. People often say, like, the graphic in Sandbox is simple but when i see that i see like the, the quality of ludulan experience the text right. you can read perfectly you can read it perfectly yeah it was their idea to put the letter like this the path when i saw it for the first time i was actually very like emotional because this is like a very it's a very poetic thing oh my god this is so cute people are walking on people it. are walking on it yes i like, didn't i didn't it, uh, even if you Imagine like the world letter goes to a museum in the real world. I don't think they will be able to involve this kind of like no. uh, creativity and gamification and well, turn it into like a giant path yeah. uh, with a letter printed around. So It's funny because, you know, um, throughout the years during this project, people always ask me, so what are you going to do with the letter? You know. And I mean, I always say like, oh, an exhibition, a book, a film, there could be many things, but I never thought a video game. <laughs> I never <laughs> thought a video game. game. And now it's I'm really interested. And now I'm like, it makes a lot of sense to, to translate it in a digital form. Because sky is really the limit. Here, even you, you yeah. said exactly. Sky like, is the let's, limit. let's fill the sky with all those letters right. and even involve the community to contribute. I love it. I, I love like how. Uh, the metaverse is a new medium of expression. Yeah. It's social, it's gaming, it's collaborative. Yeah, it's a very interesting... Um, I, I didn't see it coming for the world letter, but it seems very obvious to me that it has a, an existence in the digital form and in the metaverse. I think it's, it makes sense. But we're really proud to have you here, Coco Van, <laughs> and you, uh, the world letter. Thank you, the Sandbox. Thank you, Lulu and Land. Lululand for this yeah. amazing... Uh, a uh, translation of this physical art collaborative project yeah. into a metaverse. Do we have more questions from the audience? Or? I just have one last one, which is not really related to the experience. Where do you, can people get that, uh, <laughs> that cushion? With the uh, that's a special one. It was given for where can people get that? It was made for nice. the New York NFT New York uh, conference of Sandbox last year. So we'll see. We need to make more. Like custom cushion, merch. merch. This exists in the physical world as well. So you can buy it as an <laughs> NFT, right? But yeah. maybe too in physical world. Yeah. And we don't sell anything. It's always a reward for the community of Sandbox, uh, landowners, avatar holders who attend the event. So everything is for free. Mm. The ledger, the hat, the t-shirts. Just come to our event and be part of the community. That's so nice. Yeah, I'm so excited. This everything here, it was Lululand's ideas. Like the arch is from New York because I used to do the world letter under the arch a lot in New York. 
so they can so. learn a lot about your uh, journey as well through yeah. this art a lot of details yeah. here so a lot of personal references yes i love that like it just doesn't come as like hey here's the love letter we yeah. digitalize it and display it like in a gallery yeah no. but this been a lot of creative process behind yeah. into the yeah. uh, using architecture the, the level design uh, i put, put a put lot it. and i think the lululand guys also and, and the sandbox team a lot of heart and work into it a lot of thoughts you know but you've been very involved in the Super project yourself so that's <laughs> great so like, yes. uh, it's not just like yeah let's do it in the no. metaverse and uh, checking at the end you know like yeah, that's no. beautiful super involved also because when i was younger like before i became a musician before i became an artist i considered working in video games mm -hmm. like i was uh, I, i don't know for it's like, never too late it's never like, <laughs> here you are you yeah. are in video games so this so. was my <laughs> fulfillment <laughs> job well but that's good that's good like we try to inspire and empower people to become game creators so i i just uh, live discovery you're a video yeah. game creator now <laughs> thank you Seb. thank you yes uh, yes are there any love letter easter eggs in this map blue land are known for hidden areas ah. so can you repeat any love letter easter eggs in this map ah, oui. are known to have a lot of hidden areas so um, they might be but actually i should say you should find out <laughs> yourself so you explore the whole game but I think they might. Yes, yes, I think they are. Yes, uh, in the bar maybe. There's ah. a hidden bar in the. Is there is like already <laughs> some uh, yeah, some clues in the here. Bar. Find up a secret bar yeah. on the map. Um, the bar is amazing. And maybe one closing world, word. Sorry. Yeah. If, uh, like he, if you come and play, take a selfie of yourself. Uh, try to find Kokova. I think your avatar is as yes. well in it. I'm gonna show you before we leave. Yes, show that. My NPC. This is one of my biggest pride in life, in my existence, <laughs> is that I have an NPC in the metaverse. Uh -huh. And uh, I think any gamer in the world, this is like your fantasy. Like I have an NPC. That's my little NPC. She's Here you are. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. See, very, she's wearing my. I was very similar. Yeah, yes. Wearing the exact same outfit as my NPC. <laughs> you can stand up right next yes. to her. Yes. We need to do a photo. Like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so yeah. if you find Coco Van, right? Yes. Here take, she is. Take a selfie take with a me. Selfie, take a selfie of yourself in front of your favorite love letter. If you can spend some time to read them out. And um, yeah. hey, here's Kelsey as well, yeah. coming up live. Nice, Panda Pops, one of our favorite streamers. Really? Yes, we have a very special guest right, live right now with Sandbox. How do I say hi? Hey, you uh, type here. And, uh, hi. Hopla. And let's get to go back. <laughs> yes, exciting. So cute. Hey. Oh, she already replied you. So you met a, a great yeah. person that we love in the Sandbox oh, community. Amazing. So glad. Well, Kokovan NPC needs help. So that's the quest. You guys have some work to do. There are some quests to complete. Yeah. You get to discover the whole world here. Super cool. All right. Not more spoiler, but not the experience is live starting today. Yeah. Right now we are playing the live experience. We can see already 38 people with you in this instance so super exciting come to discover the project uh, follow sandbox follow kokovan of course on twitter the world letter on twitter as well so i think it's at i am kokovan yes and follow lululand of course yes thank you guys thank you so much sandbox lululand uh, thank you for this opportunity And thank you to any, every person who's gonna play this. I'm already so grateful and hope you guys will like it. And um, and yeah, this is this is uh, something I never imagined would happen. And this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is possible Everything in the metaverse. Is possible. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> thank you, Seb, for your time. Sure, thank you, everyone. And uh, I think it's the end of today uh, live. See you soon. See you in the, the experience.